Alrighty, guys, we are 3-0 and in our last three NBA tier package bets on my website. And I'll include a link for today's NBA tier package bet in the description section below. But before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to our NBA Part 2 video here today for Wednesday, November 2nd, 2022. Happy Hump Day to you. The weekend's right around the corner. And of course, my name is Brock Page. I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. I also sell my personal sports bets on patreon.com slash Brock Page. Once again, guys, I'm 3-0 and my last three NBA tier package bets on that site. And just a reminder, guys, if you sign up for that package here today, you're going to get access to that membership for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus, you're also going to get access to all the cheaper memberships on my site, absolutely free. It'll actually be included with your purchase. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and dive into our part two video. It is going to be Pistons at the Bucks, 8 o'clock east. Milwaukee's the 11-point favorite at home, minus 11 at home, totals 223 and a half. Now, the Bucks are currently leading the NBA in defensive field goal percentage. They've been the toughest team to score uh, score on in the game right now. As a matter of fact, the Bucs are allowing fewer points a game than any other club in the league. When it comes to offensive production, Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's averaging 33 points a game along with a dozen boards. Meanwhile, Drew Holiday is second on the team in scoring with 19 points a night. When it comes to offensive boards, the Bucs are leading the NBA in offensive rebounding per night. They're facing a Detroit squad who's pretty bad at grabbing defensive boards. They're in the bottom five in defensive rebounding. They're also giving up over 120 points a game. When it comes to offensive production, these guys are in the bottom three in shooting from the field. Now, injury-wise, Burks and Duran are out for Detroit. Meanwhile, for Milwaukee, Middleton, Connaughton, and Green are still out. Joe Ingles is also out with a knee. When it comes to the total in this one, the Bucks saw unders versus the likes of Brooklyn, Philadelphia, and Detroit. I'm going to lean toward Milwaukee minus 11 and the under 223 and a half in the tight window. Next ball game, it is going to be Clippers at the Rockets, 8 o'clock Eastern start time. The LA Clippers are minus five, totals 223. And even though the Clippers can't get to the basket, they are playing some really good defense. They're in the top three in defensive field goal percentage. And they're limiting their competition to just 32% shooting from three land. Now, scoring-wise, Paul George is averaging 21 points a game. He's also getting seven rebounds a night. Meanwhile, teammate Luke Kennard, he's making over 44% of his three-pointers. Now, they're facing a Houston squad on the other side who's on a four-game skid. They have just one win all season long. When it comes to shooting the basketball, nobody does it worse then Houston from the field. These guys are making just 41% of their field goals, and they rank dead last in the NBA in that category. Now, injury-wise, Jay uh, Sean Tate and Ty Ty Washington, they're listed as out for the Rockets. Meanwhile, for the uh, Clips on the other side, Kawhi and Covington are out for them. When it comes to the total, all of the Clippers' games stayed under the number except for one. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, Houston saw three out of their last five stay under the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward the LA Clippers, minus five, under 223. Next ball game I have for you, it is going to be Raptors at the Spurs, 8 o'clock Eastern start time. Now, Toronto's minus seven on the road, totals 224. And the Raptors should be able to take care of business here tonight. Uh, the Spurs are currently just getting riddled with injuries. Uh, Devin Vassell, he's sitting this one out here tonight with a knee. Meanwhile, Richardson, Roby, and uh, Johnson, they're listed as questionable as well. So uh, pretty big injuries here uh, for the Spurs. And despite winning a handful of games here recently, the Spurs have had a tough time on defense. These guys are currently in the bottom five in guarding the field goal. And they're also giving up 119 points a night. Now, they're also playing a Toronto team who's playing some incredibly tough defense themselves. Aside from covering in five out of their last seven, 
Uh, Toronto's currently in the top five in fewest points allowed. When it comes to rebounding the basketball, Toronto is one of the best defensive rebounding teams in the East. Pascal Siakam's averaging just about double-digit uh, rebounds a night. He's also the team's leading scorer. Meanwhile, teammate Scotty Barnes, he's been pretty dangerous from long range. He's knocking down 52% of his three-pointers. When it comes to the injury report, Porter and Van Fleet, they're questionable for Toronto. And when it comes to the scoring, Toronto saw three out of their last five get over the line. Meanwhile, San Antonio is four and three to the over in their last seven. I'm going to lean toward Toronto, minus seven, over 224. Next ball game, it is going to be Hornets at the Bulls, eight o'clock Eastern tip-off. Chicago's the six-point favorite at home, totals 223 and a half. Now, the Bulls are also banged up a little bit right now. Uh, Drummond and White are questionable. Meanwhile, Zach Levine's been downgraded to doubtful. Uh, looks like he's probably not going to play here tonight. Now, the Bulls already took the loss in two out of their last three. And they're having some difficulties on defense. They're in the bottom 10 in defensive field goal percentage. And they're actually letting their opponents drill over 42% of their three-pointers against them. Now, they're facing a Charlotte team on the other side who loves to shoot from long distance uh, themselves. These guys are in the top 10 in the NBA in offensive three-point percentage. P.J. Washington's making 40% of his shots from downtown. He's also averaging 17 points a game. Meanwhile, Gordon Hayward's the second leading scorer uh, on the roster here uh, with over 18.5 points a night. When it comes to defensive play, well, the Hornets are currently the best team in the league right now in guarding the three ball. Very low defensive three-point percentage. Now, injury-wise, Rozier and Martin are questionable for the Hornets. Meanwhile, for Chicago on the other side, once again, White and Drummond are listed as questionable. Levine is doubtful. Now, total-wise, Chicago is 4-3 and three to the under in their last seven. Meanwhile, Charlotte saw their last three straights stay under the total themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Hornets, plus six, keeping this one close, under 223 and a half. Next ball game, it is going to be Jazz at the Mavs, 8.30 p.m. East. The Dallas Mavericks are minus five at home, totals 221. Now, uh, the Mavs are scoring a whole heck of a lot of points here this season. They're averaging 118 points a night, and they're led by Luka Doncic, who's dropping 36 a game. Meanwhile, Christian Wood, he's dropping 55% of his three-pointers off the bench. When it comes to rebounding the basketball, not many teams are doing it better defensively than the Mavs. These guys are in the top three in defensive rebounding per game. Now, they're facing a Utah team who failed to cover in three out of their last five. Uh, failures to cover against the likes of Denver and Houston. The Jazz are also having a tough time grabbing defensive boards themselves. They're in the bottom five in the league in rebounding per game on defense. When it comes to the injury report, Kessler and Gay are questionable. Balmaro and Fontesio are out. When, uh, when it comes to uh, Dallas on the other side, Bertans and Nilakina, they're listed as questionable for them. And when it comes to the number, Dallas saw all of their games this year get over the line except for one. Meanwhile, Utah saw overs against the likes of Memphis, the Pelicans, and Minnesota. I'm going to lean toward Dallas, minus five, over 221. Next matchup, it is going to be Grizzlies at the Blazers, 10 o'clock east. Memphis is minus four and a half, totals 226. And even though the Grizzlies have been great with the ball in their hands, these guys are allowing more points a game than any other team in the league. And come on. <sighs> and even when they are on offense, well, uh, they have the lowest free throw percentage in the NBA. And of course, I'm talking about Memphis. Now, the Grizzlies are facing a Portland team who's playing some fairly decent defense themselves. These guys are in the top 10 and fewest points allowed. When it comes to offensive production, Anthony Simons is scoring over 20 points a game. And he's shooting 92% from the stripe. 
Now, when it comes to shooting three-pointers, Jeremy Grant's making 40% of his shots from long range. Now, as a team, the Blazers are one of the best field goal shooting teams in the West. Now, injury-wise, Lillard and Payton are still out. Josh Hart is questionable. Meanwhile, for Memphis, Danny Green and Jaron Jackson, they are out. Adams, Bain, and LaRavia are questionable. When it comes to the total, Memphis saw five out of their last seven get over the number. Meanwhile, Portland saw overs recently against the likes of Houston and Denver. I'm going to lean toward Portland plus four and a half over 226. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for the video. It is going to be Pelicans at the Lakers, 1030 Eastern start time. Now, the Pelicans are minus three on the road. Totals 228 and a half. Now, the Pels are scoring more points a game than any other team in the league. Zion Williamson's averaging 21 a night along with eight rebounds. Meanwhile, C.J. McCollum scoring 20 and a half points a game himself along with seven assists. When it comes to defensive play in this one, well, the Pels are amongst the league leaders in rebounding and guarding the three-pointer. Now, they're facing a Laker team on the other side of things who's actually the worst three-point shooting team in the game. They're making only 26% of their three-pointers, and they currently rank in the bottom three in scoring. When it comes to defensive play, well, LA's the worst defensive rebounding team in the game right now. Now, injury-wise, Schroeder and Bryant are still out. Anthony Davis is questionable. Meanwhile, on the other side, four New Orleans, Lewis and Ingram are out for them. When it comes to the total, the Pels saw their most recent outing with the Clippers fall 23 points under the number. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, the Lakers went 4-1 and one of the under in their last five. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward New Orleans minus three in the under, 228 and a half. And with that, guys, now it's time for our quick pick recap. I like Milwaukee minus 11 under 223 and a half. LA Clippers minus five under 223. Toronto minus seven over 224. Charlotte plus six under 223 and a half. Dallas minus five over 221. Portland plus four and a half over 226. And before I give you my next and final free pick for the video, one final reminder that we are 3-0 and in our last three NBA tier package bets on my website. I like the Pelicans minus three under 228 and a half.